Mr. Gay World Philippines 2016 is presented by BDO, We Find Ways, Pmax, the official herbal supplement of Mr. Gay made in the USA, John Robert Powers, Yakult. We should award the winners that have caught our uh, sponsor's eye, right? So we move on with the awarding of our corporate awards. All right, let's start out with our first one. This one is called... Fairy White. Mr. Fairy White, of course, belongs to Baguio City. To represent the award are Ms. Susie Ong, President of Fairy White, and Richard Hignola, PR Consultant. All right, our next corporate award is from Hairgen. Mr. Gay Hairgen is once again from Baguio City. To present the award is Ms. Jessica Ong, Marketing Manager. award is from Shakot. Mr. Gay Shakot is our Hakot Award winner, Mr. Baguio City. To present the award are Ms. April Layog, Marketing Manager, and Richard Hinola, PR Consultant. Let's have our next corporate award. This one is from New Placenta by Samstre. None other than Baguio City. To present the award is Mr. Francis Kalubakim, pageant columnist, Showbiz Social Magazine. From City Spa to receive 60,000 pesos, Mr. Gay City Spa is Cavite. To present the award is Mr. Richard Maasin, General Manager. And the last corporate award is from Pmax, and we call this Mr. Gay Pmax, and he is from Pangasinan. To present the award is Ms. Diane Castillo, Accounts and Marketing Manager of SGG. Congratulations to all the winners of the corporate awards. Now we move on to the special awards. Now prior to this coronation night, a series of activities had been done wherein our candidates were judged in different categories for these special awards. So here we go. Let's start out with Mr. Congeniality. To receive 5,000 pesos, this special award goes to from the city of San Fernando, Pampanga. To present the award is 2013 Mr. Gay World Philippines, Erimar Ortigas. We now move on to the Photographer's Choice Award by Raymond Saldana of Clickbox Photography. To receive 5,000 pesos, the Photographer's Choice Award goes to... Baguio City! To present the award is 2015 Mr. Gay World Philippines, no more use on. Now to receive 5,000 pesos, we will be awarding the best in talent. And this award goes to... Baguio City! To present the award is 2010 Mr. Gay World Philippines, David Bosley. Let's move on to the best in casual wear. To receive 5,000 pesos, this award goes to Pangasinan. To present the award is 2012 Mr. Gay World Philippines, Carlito Rosadino Jr. Up next is best in former wear. Our winner will receive 5,000 pesos in cash, and that award belongs to Zamboanga del Sur. To present the award is 2013 Mr. Gay Rural Philippines, Erimar Ortigas. Also receiving 5,000 pesos, we have the best in swimwear, and this award goes to our candidate from Pangasinan. To present the award is 2015 Mr. Gay World Philippines, no more use on. Congratulations, all the special awards. You know, at this point, we are now about to announce the top 15. Now, from the top 15, two of them will be fast tracked because they're part of a roster that uh, they won a couple of awards. So, Mr. Gay World Philippines, social media, and Mr. Popularity. Yes, so by bagging these two awards, those two candidates will certainly be fast-tracked straight into our top 15. Let's begin with Mr. Gay World Philippines Social Media. That is... Cavite! Pangapat ako sa anim na magkakapatid. Lumaki ako sa General Trias Cavite, doon nakapag-aral. Sa Cavite rin nakapagtapos. Lumaki akong walang tatay. Maaga akong natutong tumayo sa sarili kong paa, natutong kumayod, at lalong-lalo, mas napalipat ako sa Diyos kasi sa mga oras na nagkakaroon ako ng problema 
mas madalas na humihingi ako ng tulong sa kanya. Nakapagtapos ako ng college dahil sa paglalaro ng volleyball. Nagpapasalamat ako kay God. Binigyan niya ako ng ganang talent. Pinilit kong pasukoy ng mundo ng modeling, talent, makapasok sa TV, sa movies. Ginawa ko inspiration yung mga challenges ko to become a better version of myself. I'm Jan Jep Carlos of Cavite. Super Sunday Award is 2010 Mr. Gay World Philippines, David Bosley. Also fast tracking his way into the top 15, we have Mr. Popularity. And Mr. Gay Popularity is from Baguio. I grew up in the streets of Baguio City. I could say it's more fun growing up gay in Baguio City. I am a product of a broken family. My mom had to work overseas as a domestic helper for 23 years. And when I had a stable job, I opted my mom to come home for good and our family was reunited again. Winning I Am Poge on its showtime opened the doors to opportunity, and I had the chance to pay for our land's amortization. But earlier this year, my brother had a stroke, and it breaks my heart seeing him incapable of doing things. It's sad because when I was growing up, my brothers are the one to the rescue when I'm bullied. Now it's my time to take care of them. I have to be strong for my family because they are relying on me. And winning Mr. Gay World would be a blessing to our family and all the people who view me as an inspiration in their lives. Super Chef the Award is 2015 Mr. Gay World Philippines No More Views On. Our two candidates are truly deserving of their awards, but of course for the rest of the candidates, take a deep breath and relax because we're about to announce the remaining semi-finalists. That's right. So take your spot from Lawang Bato, Valenzuela. Hi, I'm Ron Johnson and welcome to my hometown, Valenzuela. Well, currently I'm working at the Valenzuela City Hall and designated at the Valenzuela City Police Station. I do believe on the saying that we only live once. Kaya dapat ibahagi natin ng mga simpleng bagay na mapapasaya sa iba. Kaya ang pagsali ko dito sa Mr. Gay World Philippines ay hindi ko lang laban, kundi laban ng bawat LGBT na nininiwala sa pagbabago. And you are heading to the next round, Cebu! I represent Cebu in the upcoming Mr. Gay World Philippines 2016 pageant. I am a part of this competition because I believe this is an opportunity for me to carry the advocacy of being part of the LGBT community. I have never joined a pageant before, but I'm very excited because this experience has taught me so many things. From being confident to being empowered, I am an advocate of HIV AIDS awareness. As a member of Love Yourself, it is a nonprofit organization for HIV awareness and education. I am proud to represent the Visayas region, the province of Cebu, being the land of Lapu-Lapu, our first hero to fight for the Filipino people. And I would like to carry that tradition as an LGBT descendant of the great hero. You're one step closer to your dream, Taguig City! Isa po akong polis sa PCP-8 Taguig City Police Station. Nung bata ko, pangarap ko na talagang maging isang polis. Nag-CAT pa nga ako nung high school eh. Di lang paghahanda akong sakali. Ang gusto ko kasing mangyari pag sinabi natin gay, professional ito, at talented. Bago ako mag-take sa PNP, nakatanggap ako ng tawag sa family ko at pinaiimbestigahan daw ako. Kasi may isang tao nagsulat sa DILG at pinag-question kung bakit daw ako na-inlist at napasama sa isla. Pero kahit ganun pa man, hindi ako nagpatalo at lalo akong nagpursi. Pinakita ko sa mga opisyal na kahit ganito ako, e eh, eh kaya kong maging isang magaling na polis. At eto na siguro ang natatamang panahon para ipakita sa buong mundo na may isang Pinoy na polis na nag -up. At hindi nahihiyang ipakita ang tunay na pagkatao. She made it this far, San Juan City! I usually start my day driving to gym from Fairview to VGC. Working out is usually my morning routine before I start working. I'm playing badminton and volleyball balances my life. Traveling makes me thankful and contented with my life. 
while hanging out with friends makes my life even more richer. Not with material things, but with love. And oh, say hi to Brutus. I love my family. I love my God. That's me. That's my simple life. Also advancing to the next round is Palawan. I have two siblings and I am the eldest. My dad died when I was three and my mom when I was ten. Since then, I learned to be strong and independent. Joining Mr. Gay World Philippines is my official announcement of me being gay. To my family members, relatives, and friends, I've been crossing fingers that they'll accept me for who I am. And thanks to God, just last week, I was able to receive a message from my aunt saying that she and my uncle voted for me on the official website of Mr. Gay World Philippines. I was speechless. I found myself crying. This is my partner Lens and our baby Seven. We've been together for almost a year now. They are my motivation and my inspiration to keep going. I believe that I'm a perfect representation of a true modern Filipino gay. My advocacy is to promote gender equality, to spread love and unity among us. I'm Ron Ramos, Mr. Palau. The next spot belongs to our candidate from Pangasinan. Isang batang professional na nagtatrabaho bilang trainer at dance instructor. Isang mga pinagawa ko ang mag-train ng exercise ng mga beauty pageant ng Texas at ilang celebrities. Bakit ako nag-join ng Mr. Gay World Philippines? Kaya ko. Na parang kaya ko rin mag-inspire, kaya ko rin mapagod, kaya ko rin mag-sacrifice para sa bansa, para magkaroon or makabuli ng corona. Yung Lord of God ako talaga ang masasabi ko naging inspirasyon ko sa buhay ko ngayon. Kasi sila yung naturo sa akin ng mag asal kaya hindi ako lumaki sa totoong pamilya na may nangyay at natay, masaya pa din ako at matagumpay sa buhay kasi tinuruan nila ako ng magandang asal. After ng pagkakot ito, matalo matalo, um, continue pa din ako sa advocacy ko na ipakita yung talents ng kapwa ko bakla, ipakita ang anong meron tayo ng mga bakla para ma-accept tayo sa lipunan. We have seven spots left and one of these belongs to General Santos. I'm from General Santos City. We celebrate the home of the champion as our victory. Here in a place where the Philippines is known as the Tuna capital of the world. Traveling across the nation is my vision to connect in different cultures, traditions, and religion as well. I'm blessed to help others, not only the people less fortunate, but also the people who need to be lightened up. I always pray to open your door for my voice to be your instrument as your spokesperson. I am psychic to ground sharing my hope, peace and harmony to the world. Also advancing is our candidate from Rizal. I grew up in Antipolo at dito po ako nag-aral from kindergarten until high school. So this is Antipolo's Pasalubong Center. So ito yung um, hinalayo Antipolo sa mga delicacies like suman at kasoy. So titik mga patong favorito. I entered the workforce as a BPO agent and went into marketing communications and recruitment. I am currently a talent acquisition manager in a multinational bank. I like staying fit and active. I make sure I maintain a healthy diet and lifestyle. I'm an active volunteer at Love Yourself, a nonprofit HIV AIDS awareness org working as an HIV counselor. I also do events and marketing for the organization. You've secured your spot, Miss Samis Occidental. My dad and my other sister are both policemen. I'm the youngest of five children, and I'm the one and only son, which made my mom really excited because finally, someone will be able to bring our family name to the next generation. Contrary to what she was expecting, <laughs> that's less likely to happen. Considering their expectations, it was a very big struggle for me to admit it to them. When I finally had the courage to confirm, this is what they said. Ano magwal mangga? Nangawat bali na yung anak or nadrag adik bali na siya. He can still be the person he wants to be. Their acceptance has driven me to become more empowered and this is one of the best values I've learned from my family. That a person who chooses to live a good life deserves acceptance and understanding and be treated equally. My dream is that every gay man would be privileged to be accepted and beloved by their families because everything should start at home. If we put this in our hearts, we'll see more people doing great things in this world. No matter what race, gender, or orientation, 
just like me. And you're making your fans and supporters proud. Valenzuela City! I grew up managing a family business, which is a resort, and now we ventured out in real estate. When I was in college, I joined the cultural exchange program that allows thousands of students from all around the world to enter the United States. From then on, I started to love traveling. It broadens up my perspective and opens new things and experiences. I learned to be diverse and to be respectful to other cultures. Here, 2004, I joined TV Idol. It's a talent search for aspiring young men. After the competition, I felt unusual and got myself into identity crisis. I realized I'm gay. Two years ago, I became one of the finalists of I Am Po Gay. It was my first time to come out publicly, and I felt accepted and free. I want to be Mr. Gay World Philippines in order to share my experiences and inspire the youth to go after their own dreams and break free from the perceived limitations. Just live the life you love and be positive in any way you can. Take a deep breath, Patangas! I used to be a financial geek, now in the creative field. I started doing makeup in the fashion industry, working with various magazines, both local and also international. I also did work for print and ad campaigns, which eventually opened doors for me to gain personal clients. I'm a health aficionado. I decided to pursue fitness training. I believe that you should always prioritize health and wellness because in order for you to love others, you first love yourself. If I'm not doing makeup or working out, you will see me strutting in the dance floor. Because when I dance, it reminds me that I am alive. I consider myself as a family person because they're always on top of my priorities. Because whatever it is that I am doing right now, it is because of them. And also, they always inspire me to do my best. Mr. F 2016 honed and prepared me for my next battle. Mr. Gay World, Philippines. You also made it this far, Zamboanga del Sur! I took up accountancy in San Beda College. Soon as I finished my college in San Beda, I took and passed the CPA board exam. And currently now, I'm doing statutory and tax compliance for Asia Pacific for an advertising group. I love to travel, that's why I enjoy my job. During my free time, I spend time with my cats. I love to work out, trying to stay healthy. This is the first time that I joined a pageantry. My career has always been in finance. People ask me, why, why do you have to join this? It's basically because I just want to prove to everyone that being Mr. Gay World is not just about having the body, the face, and the grace, but actually it's a person with passion, with a heart and mind, willing to push the boundaries to fight for acceptance without exceptions, not just for the gays, but of course for the entire LGBTI. One last spot and this belongs to Sultan Kudarat. I am a person who loves challenges. I had faced a lot of obstacles and issues in my life already. But for me, what matters most is that I was able to retrieve myself I was able to learn my lessons in life and stood up. And right now, I can definitely say that I am a better version of myself. Because remember that the only barrier towards achieving your goal is our own self. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your top 15. Congratulations to all of you. And of course, congratulations to all of the other candidates as well for being part of this very prestigious pageant. Yes, and up next, our top 15 candidates in their swimwear. Watch out for this when we return here on Mr. Gay World Philippines 2016.